We skip to the good part. I just watched a video by Hey X Natalie titled, I just turned 20 and I feel alive. First of all, the storytelling, the narration, everything about that video was class. Definitely recommend, definitely give it a watch. But yeah, it definitely gave me inspiration for how I wanted to portray this video. Those of you following this channel will know that I'm running Project 50, basically eight rules a day, 50 days, pretty self-explanatory. And the ultimate aim is to kickstart your productivity and get you back on track with wherever you want to be. Maybe even sacking, maybe even losing motivation. This is to help you kickstart the rest of your life. But I don't just want it to be 50 days. I want this routine, this habit, this productivity and momentum to continue after that 50 days into the indefinite future. And I found for me, I need some sense of a balance. In Hey X Natalie's video, she brings up this quote. You've probably all heard it. One day your life will flash before your eyes. So make sure it's worth watching. And it re-triggered the realization within me that this moment is all we got. We can die at any moment. And not only should we work on making the best future for ourselves, but we should also enjoy the moment while it's happening. Create this reel of highlights. And as Gerald Way said, make sure our life's worth watching. So yeah, I want to be that massively ultra productive self. I'm doing this Project 50, but it's not just going to be 50 days for me. It's going to be as long as I possibly can keep going. And in order to do that, I need to still have these spontaneous trips, those nights out, those little joys in life that just make this whole experience richer. For me, last weekend, that was the bath surf trip. And now anything like this is going to completely screw up the routine. And as such, I'm allowing myself one morning every week not to stick to the rules. I'm allowed to get up after 8 a.m. for that one single day. That's Saturday. And on that note, I'm leaving for the Bath Uni surf trip in 15 minutes and I haven't packed anything. So let's go. Yo. Yep, I literally finished my kink as we left. <laughs> <laughs> everyone arrived they've gone and grabbed all of the keys gone into the rooms dropped their stuff off left to go get drinks and locked the door so when we got there there were no rooms nowhere to put our things oh. we found someone with a key dropped our bags off time was like 11 p.m no idea where we we're gonna stay but remember we want our life to be worth watching so rather than stressing in the moment we went out for drinks <laughs> and we met everyone at this club called sailors went out with them for like an hour or so left about 1 a.m but remember we left with no key, nowhere to stay. Where are we, bro? Right. Throw a little curveball into the story. I actually bought Jorge a ticket from Glasgow University because Bath ran out of their tickets. So Jorge was actually staying with the Glasgow lot. We went to this inn, but it was raining and we couldn't for the life of us figure out where the inn was. Probably. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's a dead end. I just want to eat my wrap. <laughs> Do you have our bed? They said no. All of the Glasgow beds are taken. We're going back and forth for like half an hour until the guy at the desk finally says, Oh, you're the other bath guy. However, obviously there was only one bed. Boy and I slept head to toe in this single bunk bed, trapped in by metal bars at the sides. Except to welcome. To top all of that off, the window was open the whole night because it was too hot, and there was a bar below us. A closed bar, still playing music the entire night. We could not sleep one bit. And then, just to drizzle some climax on there. Okay, mad phrasing. The other two guys from Glasgow that were staying with us came in at like 6 a.m. and woke us all up. We'd finally gone to sleep for like an hour. No shot we'd get mad to sleep. Got up in the morning, ready to surf. weather is immaculate and uh, the surf's looking good. Boy's gonna teach me how to surf, it's gonna be beautiful. But well, I need to get into the wetsuit. <sighs> beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, we're gonna practice the stances and then head to the waves. Let's go. This is the place that I come to forget you. These are the nights that I drink to regret you. These are the times I know I can't replace you. Wish that I was somewhere else, wish that I was somewhere with. This is the place that I come to forget you. These are the nights that I drink to regret you. These are the times I know I can't replace you. Wish that I was somewhere else. Wish that I was somewhere with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you're a pussy. <laughs> with you. Yeah, 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 yeah
surfing was awesome. I finally caught some waves and it took a long, long time. First attempt, fell over, board swam in there. By the end and on the final attempt before we left, I actually stood up, rode for like 10-ish seconds. It was sick, got me on a high. Home, dried off, went and got some fish and chips, amazing fish and chips. And now we come back for a nap because it all shattered. But I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight. That's gonna be fun. And yeah, we're gonna go out for another surf session before we go out clubbing tonight. Sick. Let's go. We're shattered now. Moments like these, when there's there's two words, well, one word in particular that just really brings the mood up. So on the count of three, I think we're gonna say the word together. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, oh! This is the place from Got a single, oh! Got a single or double. No! 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 Oh, I dropped it, caught it, and then dropped it again. What the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't get any more videos because I was just trying to surf. I thought the water was deeper than it was. Riding the wave, ended up bailing out, smashed my knee into the floor, and I'm in severe pain now. But we move. Uh, this bitch woke me up. And on that note, we checked out Left of the Beach. Let's go, man. Yeah, just like that, we're back from a solid, solid surf trip. Honestly, had an amazing time. It did slightly screw up the routine, and annoyingly, we didn't just write off Saturday, we also wrote off Sunday. But, is what it is. So I'm now on day 11 of Project 50. I am so excited to get back into the routine. Also, I just finished my last book, and I'm finally starting Atomic Habits. So that is gonna be the reading for this Project 50. Super excited to get into that. Anyway, this habit building process, it does take time. I'm hoping by the end of these 50 days, I have a solid foundation to have a very balanced life, full of working hard throughout the week, enjoying the weekends, both setting myself up for the future and enjoying the moment and given how sick this trip just was we've also just put the university surf trip to morocco that's at the end of january I'm very excited for that anyway i'm gonna see you in the next video see you then